Now, one of the biggest stories that came across my desk is this fluoride trial that just recently ended. And remember, fluoride was one of the, if not greatest public health achievements of all time. And now it's not so much because of a court ruling. And this is what it looked like in the news. New concerns about fluoride in drinking water. A federal ruling is questioning how much of it is safe. A federal judge in California has ordered the Environmental Protection Agency to address the potential impacts of fluoride in drinking water. Researchers with the Department of Health and Human Services analyzed previously published research and said they determined, quote, with moderate confidence that there is a link between higher levels of fluoride exposure and lower IQ in kids. The Environmental Protection Agency could challenge that ruling, which could send the case to the Supreme Court. Lawmakers in some states aren't waiting for the courts. It's time to update this law. Let's take this out. The city of Monroe is considering removing fluoride it puts into its drinking water. The city of Abilene isn't taking any chances. As of right now, I've directed the utility department to stop adding fluoride to the city's drinking supply until the EPA makes a final ruling on on what they're going to do. 200 million Americans live in communities that put fluoride in its tap water, and almost every toothpaste has fluoride in it. Unfortunately, the CDC and the American Dental Association have ignored really decades worth of studies indicating harm from fluoride and chosen to work on the health of the tooth over the health of children's brains.